Hi, um, I thought I'll do a video, um, because a couple of things I wanted to mention and stuff like that. But I was just watching this video, which wasn't a bad video, but it had some good points to it. And it was like about like how to tell, tell if a guy was cheating. And I feel like this, that it was some, some points in there that were true. But it's like to nowadays, there's like so many like excuses and so many things that's going on. But before I do that, I want to just say these things here. I mean, I know they're sugar free, but they're good for on the go. And it's especially, it's just these are awesome. I recommend this. I just, I just got these earlier today, and I pretty much been going at them. But anyway. These they're ocean spray sugar free on the go and it's my favorite brand is the white cranberry peach and they come in like ten in ten of these and it's like these on the go little packets here and that what you do is that you rip it open and you put it into like your water bottle so it's like just it's great so it's like not only am I getting like sugar free substance and stuff which means it's not getting any additional artificial flavoring that you shouldn't get it's really healthy and good for you so I would say it's got probably got Splenda or some a Splenda a sort of thing but it's like natural natural um thing so you know nowadays you want to get what you got and it has vitamin C and X antioxidants in it so good I'm gonna find some um Thing. And the good thing is you don't need any sugar. You just put mix this with water, so it's like powdered substance. It's like a a, a, a updated version Kool Aid. But anyway, back to the point. Um, the, the video reminded me back in the time back in the time where where I had really big crushes on people, particularly guys you know that I know from high school, from ex boyfriends, and just everything. And it just made me really glad that I had this one thing that I used um and I know it sounds silly because it was a movie based on it was a movie about it but the movie does not really compare to the book the book gets down in the nitty gritty and I think I, I know I read it like more than once before but it actually gave me an interior working of a male's perspective of whether or not if he really shows interest in you or it's just to me it's just really another way of Especially like um, learning about like the games that they play and learning about like things like that, like learning about like cheating kind of thing. So I feel like it all qualifies in it. And I want to thank the person, which I'm gonna put put it in the description of who to thank for it. And I would thank for her to get the video because it inspired me to do a video as well. You know, as um you know you know a book insight a must free book for na women nowadays to me it may be another book out there that may be more but this book has actually to me helped me a little bit more on it gave me a more of an understanding perspective um onto the, the working inner workings of a guy's mind and i look and look back then and you know right I had to stop a few times to read this book and realize this book was true, and I believe it could still be used for now because I mean it's not changed that much dramatically. Maybe, you know, only thing I would say nowadays they 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 pretty much because you know with the book being out they pretty much probably like don't they try to like pretend to be these guys and they're not the guy out there so. This is like basically to keep watch, you know, don't be paranoid, but just keep watch and keep looking at certain signs. Yeah, there are signs for a cheater, a person who lose interest, person who's just playing games. But now they try to play this role of being a really good, well, not all of them, but some of them try to play the role of make, being a good guy, which making it harder for other guys. So it's just really hard out there. But I'm going to do the, this book was named after the movie but the book came out first and it's that he's just not that into you 
I've read this book so many times, two, three times I had it, and I always keep it, and the guy, Greg, that wrote this book, actually, um, had a really good insight, he just, he keeps it real, he tells you, look, if he's into you, he would be da 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 that, you know, if he's not into you, and then tells you the signs, usually, uh, if he's not into you, or he just stopped being into you, and it's like, pretty much, um, like, every aspect of what could be, it, it is, and it's just, like, an understanding from a male perspective, kind of thing and it's just like for breaking ups and just like he just if he you know it tells you like really like if he's not that into you if he's disappeared on you or he lost interest and stuff like that and it tells you a little bit more in depth and stuff like that to it and I thought it was a really good insightful book and I thought that I do a non-mark video on this and just to tell people you know, you know, be, just be more alert, not, don't be like, you know, I'm so in love that I can't really see a sign, or if you see some signs that you just say, oh, he's just having a bad day, especially if he's on the constant doing this, you know, so it's just like, I'm not saying that all guys are bad, all guys are not bad, there are, there are a few that's in this world that are awesome people, but there are people, there are other people in this world that make it bad for them. So they have to try to work harder to be out there and to say that I'm not as much as this, these other guys out here. And it's just like really kind of hard to just like really tell the, the difference. But you know, you know what you want. And if you have been hurt a few times before, I mean, I have before, and you'll start to build up, like, what the quality the ex had that made you realize that he's just not the one, and made you realize that he's just not that into me as I want to. I had one that just played me for a big time fool, and he was supposed to be an older guy, and, you know... And it's just that, you know, he got caught, with, but he somehow or another, the girl that he was supposed to be originally with, they got married, but I just, I would like, if you, I mean, I guess if you love somebody that much and you're willing to accept them and they thoughts, but some things, you just, it just, it didn't make sense, so it was like, okay, that's a long story, I can't get into that in depth of how that really happened, but and and then there was one where it's just that, yeah, there's a lot of things. But this book has helped, I read and helped me through a lot of things. I'm just, I see, I think, I haven't read this recently. I didn't read it over my, with my last ex because it's not about, it wasn't the fact that he wasn't into me. It was just other things. So he didn't qualify really for this, not too much. He didn't really qualify in this category of he's just not that into me. It's just that, um, just a lot of other things. But this book has helped me through with relationships before that and finding, trying to find out if the person had interest in me or not. So I thought I'd add that little bonus. But like I said, there's so many other things to finding out if someone is interested in you or if they're cheating and stuff and please do not go by um stalking the person's house please don't go by doing that or calling up family members to just to see if he went to the place that he was if if i feel like this if you like i said and also in the video she was like well if you having thoughts about him possibly cheating you know i mean if you don't already know like the original signs and if you don't kind of like from experience of breakups and stuff if Especially if your breakup things or people for cheating, if you don't know the signs of that with with current original signs, then I think you should really, really get this book. I think everybody should. Every I think all women should really have this book in their house and have this book and um 
just just to have it because without this book sometimes you feel like you don't really know and it's just that uh, I don't have the urge to read it really now because I don't really have the reason to really need it now but I just I have it because I like to read on different things and the book caught my eye and then by it being like this really best seller I was just wanting to see what the fuss about so originally it wasn't, wasn't originally um, to be getting it, I, I think I saw commercials and stuff talking about the guy who wrote this book, and, and people were trying to get inside about it, and I made a joke with my friends and stuff, saying maybe we should get this book, and for some reason I was the only one that got it, but, but it to me it was like at the time it it was like a really good important book to really have in my case. It's just it helps, you know. It's just. You know, you understanding from a guy's perspective. You understanding from learning about, you know, guys out here. And nowadays, it's like you you just need to be careful. You don't need to just open your heart up to just anybody, or or whatever they they say that makes you feel like okay, he could be the one for me, or he is the one for me because it's not always true. But you can always tell the good signs. So it's just. I mean, not all guys are bad. I know some really good, I know some really great people who got a good heart, who got a good head on their shoulders. I mean, they didn't have, they haven't, didn't have some really great relationships, but they worked on it and stuff. And having them as friends and having, yeah, it's just, you know, good. It's always good to have that male friend that gives you the, the truth somebody that's going to give you a truthful male perspective and not say a thing just to make you feel better but just to say something that's going to make you really think and think um, is that guy actually being the guy that you're with is what it is I mean I don't have to really worry about that at least that's how I feel right now but I do Feel like for most of these girls out for most of you women that's out here i think that if you're a book reader but if you're not i suggest you still to try to try to get into this book you know i mean just because i mean some people i know have been in this similar situation before and it would help out if you you know just to read it i mean i read a lot of books and stuff so i'm i'm an avid book reader i have pretty much a bookshelf full of books and books behind books so I keep books of different kinds so this was like uh, my first kind of sort of self-help book because it's in the self-help book category but he just will tell basically tell women to just wake up and see the signs out there stop assuming that he's gonna call if he's not gonna call like I said if he into you he will call or he'll make some kind of contact so and I mean I mean it's you know, if he's into you, he want to see you and and all that stuff. Want to be with you? If he really want to be you, with you in a relationship, he will. And basically, what it that's what it's basically kind of talking about. But I mean, everybody interprets things their own way. So I just basically would like to just just tell you to just be careful out there. And you know, and if you do get your heart broken, you know, you can pick yourself back up and you can move on. You're a strong person to do so. Don't let your um, heart um, continue to be, don't make your heart bitter, you know. A lot of people be bitter about things and a lot of people, and you miss, miss out on opportunities out there in life. I mean, I was close to being a bitter person before, but um, about almost a year ago this time, I, I, st I stopped being that bitter person, and I started picking myself up and doing different things, um, obviously I went, finished, I had finished school, graduated with pretty much honors things, at 3.98 grade point average, I've graduated, uh, yeah, graduated, I had, was working in a working, you know, and then, um, you know, I got to figure out who my friends were during this whole year time span. I, I talked to 
amazing people to help me get through things. I found a lot of things. I, ch I changed a whole lot and for the better, you know, religion-wise, um, changed just to, to better myself and really happy with the outcome. And it was only one, two, two people, but one person that actually really got to that point. And that person knew who they are because I told them a lot of times. And that's my morning text message. Usually my um, my morning text message, early in the morning when I first wake up, I text. And then throughout the day. But since the person's out of town, can't do that. But that's cool. But like I said, I don't really... I don't feel like I have to worry about that. He's just not that into me thing. But you but you gotta also worry about if you a person who's been hurt and stuff before too, you have to really learn to deal with the fact that sometimes your mind is gonna tell you that oh yeah, he's doing this and he's doing that and he's not. So don't just don't think that every don't think because you happen to you want it to happen to you again. It's not necessarily but it's just a thing of keeping yourself out of on the alert about you know who's coming into your life and who's not coming who's coming to your life for, for you and it's one of those friends who are season thing. There are some friends come and go and then there's those that lasting stay. So think of that as a relationship. There's some relationships that just come and go and then some stay down. Do think about it. If this person if you come in sometimes you can tell about them about what they uh, relationship is is what they had when their previous relationships. Usually, your time your previous relationships tell you what it is. But if they haven't felt like if you if you've been with them and they you feel like their relationship hasn't really changed enough where they should have got perspective to move on, then yeah, that's that's what something you want to think about whether or not you want to be with. But like I said, it to me is that that book was a must read back then, and I feel to me that is a must read now. So, um, just be on the lookout, be aware, and stuff like that. And don't talk to the bitter friends that constantly tell well, he's a dog, and that, especially they always tell you the relationship bad. One friend that did me like that was every time she had better. Like, she will be like, I support you, I support you. But then she's like, well, yeah, I knew that that was. And then I feel like this. Don't do that. Don't do that. That, that, that hurts me. Don't be that person that says that, oh, yeah, he's a good guy. And then, then come look at it later when things don't work out. Then they be like, yeah, I knew that he, that, that he wasn't like that. Just be honest with somebody. I would rather for somebody to just sit here and be honest and say, well, this is why I feel about this guy and stuff. And I have done it to people who, yeah, pretty much lost friendship for it. But, hey, it is what it is. But I'm going to let this video go because I think I got a lot of other things I want to do. And, and I just wanted to put that out there. So if you want to check that book out, just check that out. If not, hey, I did, I, I, I'm I, just trying my best to do here. These are awesome. So, yeah. You guys have a good one and yeah there's gonna be random non-mark videos too so i doubt i just 